Okay then, today I'm going to be teaching you how to put the ULX administration tool onto your Gmod server. So, first of all, you want to go onto the internet and use the link in the description to get to this page. It's the ULYSSES, and this is basically a collection of Gary Mod add-ons. But what you want to do is scroll down until you can see the ULX 3.61 installer. It may be a little bit different, but this is the one you need. As you can see, I've already downloaded it. So next of all, you want to go and run the software. Which we'll late did that for now? Press OK. So you just want to agree to this, and you want to go and find your server's add-on area. So what you want to go down to do is Mine's in computer, D drive, uh, YouTube server, and carry on down, Gary's mod, and then just click on add-ons, and just click OK, and then install it there, close that down now, and press OK, and then if we just head on into the server, YouTube server, just where we've installed it, add-ons, you'll see you'll get this, uh, these two new files, the ULX and the ULIB. This is basically the administration tool just there. So you can go back now into your start server and run it up. And you'll see that there's something slightly different about this. First of all, as you can see, it says adding add the add-ons. And then next of all, you'll have something come up. Here we go. you got all this come up. And if we just scroll to the top, as you can see, it's the same as what we've just been on. And it's basically just downloading the ULX administration tool. So I'm going to head on to Gmod now and show you how to use it. Okay then, so now that we're on Gary's mod, you want to go and find your mod player game and obviously local network. And just open up your server. Okay then, so as you can see, we've just started the game and we'll get this ULX uh, message of the day. This can actually be changed, and I'll show you how to change it. I know how to change the um, so what it says, so you can say your server's actual name. You can say who is from, so you can put your personal Steam account. Okay then, so as you can see, we're actually in Gary's mod now, and it's it's in the normal server. You've just seen the message of the day. What you want to do is escape from this and open up your uh, actual server watchdog. So now in here, what you want to do is type ULX add user oh. then your name so mine's West Brom R1 or the name of the user that's in the server and then we want to add this to the super admin so you get all the admin tools so from there as you can see the console has just added West Brom R1 to the group super admin so now you can go back into Gary's mod. What you want to do now is press escape again and open up the console. So at the moment you can open the ULX. I think it's G uh, XGUI and it'll open it. So as you can see I've just opened it in the background. And you can do all your stuff in it and whatever. You can see that the group we're in now, super admin, it has one person. So from here you can actually add more people to the uh, groups I think it's under... I'm trying to think where it is oh, add group, you can add people to the group, add users to the group do whatever you like in here, you can even change the map and settings of the actual server and the sandbox but you want an easier way to actually open this up so if we open the console up again and if we type bind uh, x no bind and this bit needs to be a key that isn't used very often I personally use P I don't know why but I use P so bind P to XGUI and press enter oh, I'll put bind, bind not bing P to XGUI and then hit enter again so as you can see bind P XGUI so now when I actually press P it opens it up and you get to use it like that. So that is basically how to get XG, uh, the ULX admin tool on your server. You can add anyone to your group. Just have a play around with it. You can see all the fun things you can do with it. I won't show you any because that will spoil the fun. Uh, just change the map this way. You can actually change the game mode if you have any. 
check out the groups and you can even ban people from here so we'll go ahead and ha take a look at the message of the day now so I'll be back in a second so now that we're back in our server what you want to do is go to the ULX file so it's Gary's mod and then add-ons so find the ULX and as you can see there's a little uh, text document which is ULX message of the day or MOTD we want to open this with a notepad plus plus or notepad but notepad plus plus is more set out and this looks like jargon to me nothing really makes sense y if you look at it you can actually tell where things should go but I'm not sure how to change the colors and everything so these can actually be changed uh, you can change the sizes and w like how far away they are and the font but I'll have a mess around with those another time but well, first of all, we just want to change the name of the server. So if you go on the fifth line, you'll be able to see that it says my server name. And it has these little things at the end of it. What you want to do is just delete this and change it to whatever you want. So we'll change it to 123ABC. And then if you go down again, you'll see that there's these like little BR coding. And this is basically a new line. So anything before this is a new line and it'll see as a new line. So, as you can see, I have this server uses the following mods, BR, so new line, ULX, uh, Pro Defender, and VMF Loader, BR, so that'll be the, like the end of the line. End of the line again, and then it'll have the, the rules. This is actually a different heading, so as you can see, it says H2, so for heading 2. You can change this to hello or something. And then all of these can also be changed and that is basically the message of the day. Oh, you can also change the admin down here so it can say um, from West Brom R1. So the U, the admin. And that's basically it. If you just hit save and that is done. All you need to do now is just have a mess around with some of the UL, LUAs. Don't change anything if you don't know what you're doing. But you can change the styles and everything for it. Just I don't know how to do that yet. So, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. If this helped, uh, leave a thumbs up. If it didn't, give me some um, con constructive criticism. What I can do better. Maybe even message me what you want to see on the server as well. I can do other things, and I'll try and bring more videos out. So, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe.